Oh, are you there? Oh, yeah, how are you doing? Doing pretty good. For some reason, we had a really bad bar. Yeah, I can hear you better now. Okay. Okay. Uh, Juice and Jobber, do you want to ask that question I asked so that he can hear me better? Which question is that? You can go ahead and... Send the, it oh, uh, okay, okay. Um, you were at WrestleMania weekend past weekend. What was that like, especially considering Mickey Rourke was there and you trained him for his movie? Yeah, well, uh, besides uh, Mickey, you know, it, it was exciting to me because I get to meet some of my old friends, you know, that I've been wrestling with for all the years. So, uh, uh, you know, it was very exciting. And uh, like I said, it's... Uh, it's like a reunion to most of us to, to see each other that we haven't seen in a while. Definitely. Definitely. Jobber. Hey, uh, thank you once again for being on this show today. This is uh, Jason Jobber. It's a great pleasure. Um, to get things off, I'd like to know, uh, did you and your brother come up with the Waltz Moans gimmick, or whose idea was that? Yeah, that's our, uh, you know, that's our name. Uh we used to carry our real name, you know, the brothers, the Manwai brothers. But then um, we got to uh, get kid out of hand a lot of times because, we, you know, we're kind of like wild and crazy and our gimmick. So, uh, you know, uh, that's how we really get the name. Yeah, we came up with it ourselves. Nice, nice. Danny. Um, also, this is Damien Van Horn. I'm an uh, independent worker myself. And first of all, Thank you very much for uh, paving the way for all of us to be able to come in as well. Um, the question I had for you, Appa, is how was it being trained uh, by Rocky Johnson and uh, the late, great, the high chief, Peter Maivia? Well, uh, it was it was very, uh, well, it, it was an honor, first of all, you know, because those guys in them days, uh, they're on the road a lot, and uh, whenever they have a few you know, a few hours, few minutes that they can, you know, uh, to take off from uh, being with their family to spend a couple hours with us in a in a gym. You know, it's a uh, it's something that I could never uh, forget. Um, but uh, uh, you know, when they do come home, you know, they try, we try to spend as much time with uh, with us in the gym so that you know we can uh, uh, learn more about the business, but. It's, it's like it was never enough, you know, and they, they're only there for a few, you know, not so too long. And then when they uh, they, they go on back to work, you know, we, me and his friends of mine, uh, Ricky Thompson, we used to just practice, you know, sure. Uh, sure. you know, the, the trade. Sure. Well, and then especially speaking of Rocky Johnson, um, did you know The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, as a little kid? And what do you think of his major success? Not only as a wrestler, uh, but now as a movie star as well. Well, yeah, I, uh, uh, you know, I was there when uh, uh, Dwayne was born, so you know, I'm around him almost all his life. Um, and of course, uh, I have uh, videos, uh, or his mother has videos of him when he was a little baby, all the way up when he grew up with my kids. Uh, to where uh, he was always an entertaining young young man, and uh, but of course nobody ever thought that he was going to become such a big uh, you know star uh, like he is today. Uh, but he was always uh, a very entertaining uh, kid when he was was little, you know, when he was very very young. Sure. Definitely. Early on in your career, you had the chance to work for Stu Hart Stampede Wrestling. How did that go, and did you ever train a little bit the dungeon at all? Uh, no, uh, actually, the, the the Stampede was our very, my brother and I's very first territory after we left Arizona, uh, which is where we started the rest, of, you know, our careers. And uh, our first territory was up in the Stampede, and uh, uh, we go down to the dungeon a lot. And seen a lot of things going on down there, but we was never, uh, uh, you know, be put in a situation where we have to be, uh, you know, Stu Hart is a, it's a rough guy. And uh, for some reason, my brother and I was never, you know, uh, we were lucky. We were just there to to watch him do his thing, you know. Uh, but uh, we're very, very fortunate, you know. Uh, I can never forget that that man because. Uh, what he did for us and he gave us the opportunity and uh, 
you know, uh, you know, we owe him so much and him and his whole family, actually. Definitely, definitely. I can definitely see where you're coming from on that. Also, what I'm wondering is, what was it, you know, how was it like wrestling for Eddie Graham's championship wrestling in Florida? Well, uh, I didn't really spend that much time uh, with Eddie Graham in, in Florida, you know, which is coming in and out kind of thing, uh, which is the same thing with the Crockett promotion. We were just there, uh, you know, we wouldn't. Uh, in them days, you know, you, you don't stay in the territory too long, you know. You just come there and do your thing and uh, move on, you know. At, at that at that time, my brother and I, we, we just wanted to test the water and, 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 and travel all as, as fast as we can, as much as we can, so so we'd be able to work with a lot of uh, workers to gain, you know, some experience that we, we, we definitely need. Uh, most definitely. Um, Arthur, i got a question uh, what a lot of fans would like to know as well. How was it working with Andre the Giant? Andre the Giant uh, is very fun to work with, you know, as long as you don't piss him off. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's, he's a great guy. Uh, you know, he would uh, do a lot of things to make you look good. Uh, and all he wants from you is to, to work hard. And, uh, you know, not to make him look bad and so forth. This is what I mean. As long as you don't make him mad, you know, he's cool. But uh, it's it's really a, a great feeling, a great honor to for us to uh, – I remember one time in Detroit, uh, uh, twice in Detroit and one in uh, Rhode Island up there in, uh, by New York. Uh, he let me and my brother slam him, which is not too many people. He, he – uh, you know, he allowed to be slammed, but uh, that's how much we get to, you know, uh, like each other. And it was Andre that really gave us the uh, uh, the open door for us to come up in New York because, you know, we always run into him uh, in those days and there was a lot of territory where Andre would travel around the United States. And uh, when he ran into us down south, you know, we uh, he always tells us that one day we're going to end up in New York and... And finally, one time, uh, it was him that called me and told me to, to call uh, Mr. McMahon Sr. that he, he thinks that he, they got a spot for us. And that's how we, uh, you know, we were fortunate enough to come up to New York. Definitely. What are your memories of uh, you and Sika winning the WWF titles from Ivan Putsky and Tito Santana? Well, uh you know, uh, again, you know, those those guys are great workers and, you know, and uh, good business heavy guys, uh, good people in, you know, in, in real life. They're very, very good people. And, uh, uh, you know, anytime you go out with a championship or, or take a championship from somebody, you have to give them a lot of respect and so forth because, you know, it's like us. When somebody takes the championship away from us, you know, in some way, uh, it hurts you a little bit because, you know, they take something that, you know, you want to keep forever. So, um, but, yeah, we, we respect, the, you know, those people, and uh, we give them the best uh, match that we can, you know. So, uh, you know, everybody will be, you know, will be happy or, or whatnot. So, uh, it's any anytime that, you know, you go for a championship uh, fight, you uh, uh, you have to give your best, and you know, and, and the outcome will, uh, the people will uh, will judge you of of of, uh, of what you put out there and, and whatnot. Uh, 